Hello everyone, welcome back to Weaving Web3. I'm here with a really exciting guest, Miro from Development Integration at Neon EVM. So tell us, what is Neon EVM and why is it becoming the next big thing? Hi, so first of all, happy to be here at DCC. Happy to see so much developers, so much interest going around. So yeah, let me start. Neon EVM, in a nutshell, is basically a program on Solana. What does this mean? Basically, we it was able to store the entire EVM on top of Solana. How? One of the good benefits of Solana, we can store up to more of executable data compared to other chains. So we can store up to 10 megabytes, so it was entirely possible to store the EVM. EVM is somewhere around 20 megabytes. And uh, this is how we are very attractive for uh, projects and developers, because uh, all of our state is on, on, the, on top of Solana, and Thanks to this, we achieve a cheap and fast finality, and of course, the parallel uh, execution, which is uh, very uh, interested for uh, developers and projects, because as you know, mostly on EVM chains, uh, the order of uh, transaction processing is sequential. It's yes. one by one. But on Solana, the things are in a parallel way. So why would someone want to choose to build on you? What's the advantages? Obviously, you were saying about the, the speed and the finality, but what is like the ideal vision of Neon? Yeah, I, I, I think on first view, uh, cheap and fast finality is something that definitely looks attractive, but I think the parallel execution is, is the key point. Why? Because of the higher transaction throughput. At this, at, at this time, we see that uh, some EVM chains already face the scalability issues, Yes. but the parallel uh, and the C-level protocol on Solana is one way to handle these, these congestions and so on. So as a user, what, what, what do you want to be seen as the individual user, but as well as if there's developers watching, what would you, would you like them to be building on transferring onto Neo? I would like them to use, uh, if you're a developer, just come try it out. Uh, why? Because we have a direct possibility feature where from our chain, you can directly access Solana's liquidity, which means that, okay, this opens the use case for uh, the aggregator on our chain, which can not only look for the best uh, out outcome of your swap amongst uh, DEXs on uh, new EVM, mm -hmm. but also send requests on, on to Solana. So through our chain, your hands are wide open to access the whole liquidity on Solana. Wow, that, that, and that's a quite a lot. So as a tr I'm a DJ at heart, so I, my biggest problem is, especially when I'm moving large volumes, I like to use the native bridge of the project because it's the safest. Yeah. But Often with optimistic rollups, we see we have that seven-day challenge period, which is something could happen in that, or I need that fund straight away, and that's the biggest problem. So, how how does that work with Neon? How quickly can I move my funds from chain A to chain B? Okay, so it's important to mention first we have our uh, own uh, native bridge, which is a bridge between for SPO tokens between a new EVM and Solana, and the transactions are atomic; they are happening immediately, and. The, the composability feature is also, is also async, which means that inside your Solidity smart contract, inside your methods, you can have, like, uh, let's say, a request to Uniswap on our chain, and then with a the, with the, uh, with the response from this uh, request, you can uh, move on to some other requests for, to Solana. This is where, this is our feature, which is from our recent minute upgrade since uh, three weeks ago, where we enable inside your Solidity smart contract to basically build up uh, instructions on to, to Solana. Let's say you can build some kind of strategy. Let's say, okay, let's swap USDC against USDT on, on, on a protocol on Neon EVM and take the USDT, the, out, the output, and pass it to Solana. Oh, wow. So it opens use cases where you can play around with chains. So what would you like to see being built on Neon right now? If you could say, I, this is something that's really missing that can take the advantage of being an EVM and having that Solana capacity. What could you build that? kind of hard or not possible to build right now? Uh, currently, right now, we face some limitations because we are on top of Solana and we have to adapt to them. But with the time passing, I believe we will uh, overcome or over, achieve these uh, limitations and we will open, we'll be open for any kind of integration. So far, we have so many integrations that uh, we, 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 we have faced some uh, uh, issues on, on the build-up, but we have, uh, we, have pay, we, have, uh, we have found a solution for them. So I believe now what we're seeking is, is more of adoption. Uh, I, I want to see a, a DEX aggregator on our chain, yeah. which is a cross-chain DEX aggregator, not only amongst the, our EVM, but amongst 
Solana. Okay, that's on. interesting. So, would you be saying that you want Neon to be a powerhouse in the DeFi space because it has that access to all these liquidity sources? Uh, yeah, amongst DeFi for sure, and also for gaming because you know, w w if you are playing a game, nobody wants to always sign up transactions and stuff like that. Absolutely. So this is something that we're currently looking at through parallel execution, uh, maybe a count abstraction in the future where gaming will also be possible on Neon. Okay. So, oh. so what kind of game would you be like to see? Is it like, a, like, do you want like big time AAA games being built, or is it like you're focusing on like the indie kind of hack and slashes or like click? I will start with the small games. This yeah. is my personal opinion, just to attract the gamers, and then move on to something big. So, but yeah, let's see. But this, but we really need uh, a count abstraction. Let's see. I, I, mm. I also see a lot of uh, events here in ETC. Most of the talks are around account abstraction. So let's see how it goes and how far we will get. So how would you abstract in Neon EVM? What would you like to see? Would you like people just be using their Google Drive? Because my biggest problem is when I signed up uh, using Google on one protocol and then I use it on another protocol, I get two different um, wallet addresses. So I think for me, that is kind of like a problem right now. How would you solve that? Uh, we, we currently solve it on, on the Neon EVM. For example, uh, we are on top of Solana, but you don't have to worry about having a Solana account, okay. Solana balance and so on. Basically, when, when you open up an EVM account on our chain, your data is being stored on Solana data account. So when you, okay. when you initiate something on our transaction, a, the end goal is to broadcast a transaction on Solana, but you really don't have to worry about having a Solana balance, uh, the, the priority fee on Solana yes. and so on. Everything is an EVM chain. Basically, we're, our target is the EVM chain, the EVM protocols, and we make the process as, as, as easy as possible for you to dive in our chain and benefit from the goods of Solana. Damn, that's, this is, that's getting my cogs working now right now, but there's, there's, a, there's big, big things that, you could, that could be built because you have that hybrid architecture. So to kind of like finish off, what would you say to people right now that you want to attract to your chain? I would say go to our documentation, first of all, go, go through, the, through the faucet, to the devnet, just see the costs of yourself, make your own feedback, uh, see, co compare us to other chains, and you will see that new Nivim definitely makes sense, and uh, Solana is something to stay, we are bullish on it, and we are connecting EVM developers to Solana. Okay, and in one year's time, when you come back to talk to me, what would you like to have achieved? So yeah, definitely, we, like I just said, three weeks ago, we have provided the main upgrade, which opens the composability thing, where from our chain, you can directly access all of the liquidity of Solana. Mm -hmm. I, I believe one year from now, I want to discuss with you the other way around of composability, where a Solana protocols will be able to access our chain. Okay, that's interesting. So it's like two-sided composability. Yeah. So you're, you're going to be hitting some big, big, big milestones soon then. Thank you Let's so much. See. This was Weaving Web3, and thanks for coming on.